You know, as healthcare providers, we all want to help our patients. And we trust that the system is honest. The problem is, is that the system is not always honest. And the system has a lot of flaws. So we see both counterfeit medical delivery as well as counterfeit medications. And what that means is we see medical delivery delivered as though it's supposed to be authentic and it's not. And we also see products that are supposed to be authentic and they're not. And this is a major problem, a problem that many people aren't aware of uh, throughout medicine, but really in society in general. We see counterfeiting in general is over a trillion dollar a year industry. A trillion dollars a year, that's a lot of money. And we see within medicine, counterfeit pharmaceuticals, depending on what source you look at, is between 200 and 400 billion dollars a year. There's a lot of money being made with fake products. There's also money being made with fake medical delivery. So we see physicians or healthcare providers sometimes presenting themselves as though they're experts in a certain field or that the services they're providing are appropriate or authentic and we find that it's not true. We've seen in the media, you know, some of the, uh, those physicians or those healthcare professionals getting in trouble. But the problem is much larger than just those few individuals. And the same thing is true with medical products. The problem is much larger than just the few cases that you'll see in the media with a few of the products that have been found as counterfeit. The, the problem really is up to 10% of all pharmaceuticals that are sold in America alone are of counterfeit origin. And the problem we don't, the problem that we have is we don't know which products are counterfeit. So as a physician, as a healthcare provider, when you try to help your patient, you're prescribing a medication. But you have no clue if that medic medication is real or if it's fake, if it's genuine or if it's counterfeit. And the pharmacist doesn't know. And the wholesaler doesn't know. And the delivery guy who delivers the products to the wholesaler or the, or the pharmacy doesn't know. So the problem is so bad that we have no control over our supply system, we have no control over what's being sold in the pharmacy, and we have no way of authenticating if the product that's been received is real or counterfeit. There are solutions that are available to counterfeiting. Now, no solution is going to be 100% foolproof. But there are a lot of solutions that can dramatically decrease the amount of counterfeiting by increasing the authentication of the products. Also, by increasing the level of tracking and tracing of those authentic products. If you can supply the, secu the supply, if you can secure the supply chain, it will dramatically reduce counterfeiting, but more importantly, it will dramatically reduce our uncertainty about those products. So technologies are available where we can prove that a product is real or authentic. So for example, if I prescribed a medication for you, or let's say you went to a store and you bought a high priced product, how do you know that product is real? With technology, we can authenticate whether that product is real or not. But it's, the onus lies on the manufacturer. The manufacturer of that authentic product has to authenticate that product from the beginning. So right when it's manufactured, they have to prove its authenticity and then track that throughout the supply chain so they know that that product that is authentic is being delivered to the, to the consumer authentically. The consumer then has to have the tools to be able to decipher the code, the authentic code, so they know that it's real. Those technologies already exist. The problem is, most people don't know that it's a problem. Most people fail to recognize it. And, and most consumers have been apathetic toward that. So the, it hasn't forced those manufacturers to make that commitment to authenticate their products. And as a result, we are prescribing medications that are counterfeit, and we don't know it. And people are getting hurt. And in some cases, people are dying as a result. And until we as a community start demanding that authentic manufacturers prove that their brands are real, which you'd think they would do because it increases their bottom line, but until we actually force them and demand that these changes be made, we're going to have patients that are going to be injured, and unfortunately that liability then falls on the practitioner, which, which is really shouldn't, but that's just the way our society is set up.
It's really important that physicians become more aware that there is a problem with counterfeiting and that they become more aware of what that problem is. Because only then can they perhaps begin to recognize the problem and identify the problem. So some of the steps that they can make are, number one, educating themselves about the problem. You know, education is, is, is the root of, of knowledge and change can only be made when we have the knowledge to make that change. So physicians need to know that sometimes when you prescribe a product, and by the way, that sometimes can be quite often. Uh, the World Health Organization has actually said that worldwide, antibiotics may be up to 50% counterfeit. So it can be a major problem. But if we have, say, a 10% problem in America with counterfeit medications, and that means one out of 10 prescriptions or one out of 10 pills is not going to be the real thing. So the physicians need to know that. They need to make sure the patients are aware of that too. Counterfeit medications can be counterfeit branded medications, but they can be counterfeit generic medications as well. So they need to know that just because they're prescribing a brand name, it may not be the real thing. Just because they're prescribing a generic, generics may not be legitimate. They may not be an actual copy of the authentic tablet or pill. Uh, so generics can be counterfeit. So when patients will see, pa when physicians will see patients that come to them and say, "Doctor, I've been stable on this medication for years, and I and I got my refill from the pharmacy, and the new one doesn't work," they need to know that that new medication may not be what it's supposed to be. It may not have the active ingredient in there. It may have less of the active ingredient in there. It may have fillers that prevent proper absorption. It may have fillers that cause side effects. And just a simple change from one manufacturer to another could be all, all that's needed for that patient to have side effects, lack of efficacy, or in worst case scenario, some serious adverse events.